How's it going everybody? John here. Hope you're having a great day and welcome to my studio. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you this classic song written by Bill Withers. It's called Just the Two of Us. We're going to use some really cool R&B chord voicings and I'm going to take you through the entire song. There's three sections, a verse, a chorus, and then a little instrumental interlude. I'm going to break it all down for you step by step. Before we get into the lesson though, make sure to subscribe. If you're new here, we post brand new guitar lessons every single day on the channel. The goal of this channel is to help as many people as possible all over the world get better at guitar. So you're doing your part by hitting the thumbs up button and helping people all over the world. All right, with that said, let's jump into the lesson. There's three sections we're gonna cover for just the two of us here. And it starts off with the intro progression, which is actually the same as the verse. And I'll play that for you. One, two, three, four. of F minor and uh, we're gonna start out on a D flat major 7 and this is a great kind of R&B voicing here we're gonna play the fourth fret starting on the A string and then play six five six and we're gonna play two beats on each chord to start here so one two then we're going to drop it down to a C7, so we can literally move that same shape down one fret, but we're going to take off the middle finger and bar. So it's one, two, three, four. Then we're going to go up to an F minor 7. And this is going to be on the 8th fret, so I'll keep my first finger there. Just slide, basically you can slide the whole chord up and then take your pinky off and put the middle finger down on the ninth fret. So it should read eight, 10, eight, nine, starting from the A string there. So one, two, three, four, one, two. Now here we have one beat per chord before we start that progression again. And this is something called a two, five, one. I have a lot of these backing tracks on my channel that you can jam to that are just little grooves like that that just use those three chords, two, five, one, going back to this D flat major seven. So this is an E flat minor seven, which is the same as this chord. I just brought it down to the sixth fret. I dropped it two frets. We're gonna go to A flat seven, which is very similar looking chord. I'm just gonna shift up one string set there. Now my root's on the fourth fret of the low E, and I'm gonna play four, six, four, five, four, four. A flat seven. Now here it's a minor seven chord, but here it's a dominant seventh chord. And then we return back to that same progression, D flat major seven, down to C seven again. F minor seven for a bar though this time. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. That's the timing there, the count on each chord. And then we got the melody. Then th that goes into the chorus progression, which I would play like this. Two of us. So 
it's basically the same exact progression, but we are going to add a little chromatic walk down in the second bar. So remember that we add D flat major 7 to C7, F minor 7, and then E flat minor 7, A flat 7. That was what we played in the verse, but when we kick into that chorus, just the two of us, two of us. Now watch this. We just have that little sliding of the chords. So that's F minor 7, E minor 7, E flat minor 7, A flat 7. And I'm just walking down. And then the second half of the progression is the same. D flat major 7, C7, F minor 7. So. do an instrumental This instrumental section kind of has a sequence that moves down. We're going to start on a D flat major 7. Same chord we had starting the tune. Now, before we were moving to a C7, this time we're going to move to a C7 sus4. And then a C7. So it's... What that is there is the C7 chord, but my pinky is out one fret to the 6th fret, and then it comes back. And then I repeat this sequence, so I'm going to play a, you know, you could call it a C flat major 7, and then to a B flat 7 sus4 to a B flat 7, which is the same move, just two frets lower. It's like a copy, paste. I'm going to go to an A major 7. You can go here, you can go here. This is a nice voicing though. And that's going to be the open A string, 7, 6, 5, 4. And then I'm going to go to an A flat, sus 4, A flat 7. So that's si uh, fa 4, <laughs> 6, 6, 4. Using my thumb there then to A flat 7, which is 4, 4, 5, 4. So. And then you do this D flat major 7, G flat 13. So that's the same chord we played before, but then to a G flat 13. You know, a lot of people play like this. I like this chord. Just doing that with my thumb there, and then two, three, four. So all together, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, and two, and that comes on the and of two. Then we do it again. One, two, three. Second time we do it, there's a 2 4 bar in there with the D flat major 7 to G flat 13. 1 and 2 and 1, 2, 3, 4. Then we're back to the first progression. There you go, that's a breakdown of how to play just the two of us. Try it out with the recording. Be sure to go slow and work out the changes and then play it with the recording. If you need to, go on YouTube and play it slowed down. That's a trick that I do a lot. I'll play things half speed, 0.75, and then work them up 
to tempo. So try it out, let me know how it goes. Before you go, I've got a free gift for you in the description below. You can get a PDF that's over 100 pages long all about soloing. It's a book I wrote called Melodic Expressions. And if you want to support me, you can buy it on the iTunes bookstore for $15, or you can get it for free in the link below as my gift to you. All right, have fun practicing, and we'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you.